welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to show you how to do a wash and go using only Dax Naturals. It's something that I introduced in one of my videos where I was showing you how to lay your edges. But today guys, I've been asked to do a wash and go using this solely on my hair. And to be honest, I was actually going to do this anyway because I love the way it defines my curls and I wanted to see how it works on a wash and go. I'm a bit nervous because it can tend to be a bit greasy if you use too much and I have a lot of hair but I think I can do this, I think I can. This is Dax Naturals, and this is the one I'm going to be using today for my wash and go. So my hair is literally no product whatsoever, only on a little section where I tried the Dax Naturals, but I've washed and conditioned my hair, and these are the results. My hair's super defined, super healthy, and I'm just gonna put my hair away in a section because I don't want my hair to dry out too much. One thing I will say guys, when you're going to apply this product, you do want to do it on damp hair, not dried hair. It does state that you can use it on dry hair, but I find doing it on dry hair in strands, like on the lengths of your hair, tends to snag it a little. I think it's best to do it where you've got slip, where the hair's wet. Um, put it on your edges as an edge control, you can do it when your hair's dry, it's perfect. It's better actually, I think, when your hair's dry. Okay, so that's enough chatting, and I'm going to go ahead and do my wash and go, see how this turns out. Oh, sorry guys, before, <laughs> before I carry on. So yeah, I did test a little sample just at the front, just to see how it defines my curls. And here you go. These are how my curls are looking. Very defined, very juicy. All right guys, so I'm gonna carry on and yeah. Okay, I'm not sure how that's looking yet. I do feel at the ends I need to apply some more. But I do feel, guys, that this styling pomade is best used in a smoothing motion rather than raking. I think raking, it separates the curls and then you create more frizz. I think it's best to clump your curls together so you get more definition. I'm liking how that looks. You don't want to overdo it, guys, because it can become too greasy after a while. When it dries, it tends to become like a hair grease. Right, so that's what I've got so far. I'm going to do most of it off camera and come back to you when I'm doing the front section. So I will see you in a minute. I don't know how my hair is looking. I wanted to put some Dax hair grease on it, but seeing as this is just basically a Dax Naturals, I don't want to mix it with hair grease. <sighs> so I'm just gonna, do you know what? I'm just gonna not air dry it. I'm gonna diffuse my hair, just see how it turns out. Cause I don't know. I'm always a bit skeptical when I use creams on my hair. I will come back to you. Hey guys, so I'm back. This is the final look. So this is all the styling pomade. My hair has been diffused. I've poofed it up a little bit and I've slicked the top bit, my little, my little coof hair. I love this. I love this styling stuff. I'm gonna have to order some more online because obviously I can't get to the shops. So, you know, show the back. You do not need to put hair grease on top of this, guys. It is like a grease, it's moisturized. Don't know if you can see that, my hands are quite shiny still. That's actually just from holding my hair when I was diffusing it, but it has a slight grease feel to it. Not greasy, but slight grease feel to it. Anyway, guys, that is it. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. <laughs> And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye.